Hello and welcome. Um, this, I know it's been kind of a while since I've posted last, but I have some very important news and some news about the channel. So first of all, I'm very sorry Jimmy Broadnet for stealing your name for about like four, three, two or three years. Secondly, I want to say that I'm a big fan. Jimmy, if you ever see this, I'm a big fan and I hope I didn't offend you. I hope I compliment you by borrowing your um, slogan, who's no fun for you for a while. And three, uh, well, this is more for my viewers. Now, as you see here, this isn't usually what you see. You usually see from my channel, well, out of the three videos you, that are on my channel, you saw stop motion. And if you come, if you subscribe to this channel because of stop motion, don't worry, we'll have more of those. You can see, I'm working on one right now. However, this channel, I've always wanted to do a chat, racing, sim racing channel, but, I mean, the concept of sim racing, it can be very expensive. So, the first problem is that although it is much cheaper than actual racing, it still is a bit bust. And for someone that has about a net worth of, like, 600 bucks, I don't really have the money to be buying big sim rigs, or, or even small ones, like, $300. However, I still wanted to go sim racing. So, what I did was I grabbed my old PS2, Slim, got bought a $20 directly before, borrowed my mom's TV, and I'm going sim racing. So, if you do, if you do want to see more of this, I don't know, just, I don't know. I mean, you don't really have a choice, I'm probably going to do this more often. However, you might be surprised on how bad I am at the start, huh? but we'll get better, hopefully. Now, um, I think that's everything about the news. Oh, and disclaimer, I might not be able to upload for another few weeks because I have school, obviously. I'm on, I mean, I'm on spring break right now, but other than that, I, I enjoy the video. Alright, hello. So today, Usually, I'm going to be racing against homologation specials. Now, if you don't know what a homologation special is, I so much to tell you. Okay. So, during the World Rally Championship, your car to compete, to have a rally car compete, I believe, you could fact check on me on this, but I'm, I, mean, I might be wrong, and I'm okay with being wrong, but you had to sell a number of cars to get the other car to compete in like 1995. So what these companies did was they and they made these production cars that are called homologation specials. And these things fast. I mean this is Celica GT4 which I will be driving, obviously. Has 251 horsepower. 251 horsepower compared to the regular Celica of the time, which is I believe had 110 inch horsepower. This is a huge upgrade. Now, and the anti light system, which is awesome, and water injection, and four wheel drive. This thing is pr packed with technology that was used is not used a lot in rally today. So, you see, I will be racing this against other homologation specials. See. If I can, if I can get this car to the top, or if not, if maybe we could have some fun. Right. As you can see here, we got an Impreza, an RS2000, a turn, or a Renault 5 Turbo, a Fusion 205 Turbo 16, and a Monster Mitsubishi Lancer Revolution. I will say that the Impreza and the Lancer are not actually homologation specials, but they did have relic cars that were. They were rally cars, so I put them in, especially the president, which is driven by Colin McRae. If you don't know who he is, he is a very, very careless driver, but he seemed to work for him, so he, I guess he's a great racer. Now, before we get started, you must look at the, if you look at the stat, I am very underpowered compared to some of these guys, especially the president and the Mitsubishi. However, I will say, that I also do have a slight 
disadvantage with the weight because I may have these cards as well. So, if I start to drop back, that I, that is one. All right. We, if I haven't said yet, we will be driving. Already have figured out. We'll be driving at the famous, or not really famous, but one of my favorite tracks in Gran Turismo 4, El Capitan, or El Capitan, Captain? El, no, El Capitan. And at the start line, we have, a, as you can see, the 66 point race. I mean, I've won bigger races, and yeah, I've never used this card over there. And off the line, surprisingly, no wheel spin at all. And there goes the Lancer, 319 horsepower, which is a lot. Alright, we're gonna pass the Renault 5 Turbo, and we're gonna really hug that outside line. It's the Peugeot. So our 206 is a really huge, really good Group B rally car. Up uh, front we have an Impreza and an RS2000. See if you can catch them. Alright, as you can see, it's a five lap race. There's only six cars on track due to the limitations of the PS2. Alright, we're gonna really hug that inside, almost go cut the corner. And now one of my favorite turns in the game. To get it right. Okay. Now, the car in front of me is a Ford RS2000. The rally car was a beast in Groovy. I just look top the wall just a bit. Oh! Alright, remember, we also have tire wear, wear, so we gotta watch out. Whoa! We get a little bit loose, and the impressor goes by. There's a bit of a scare there. One of the hardest turns to master in the game is right here. I forgot to shift. Now we're gonna really or right, now, now it's a game of catch up. Let's see if we can catch up to the Impreza. We got we'll have to try. Alright, here we go. So if I haven't said so far, I am going to be rebranding the channel into a sim racing channel or a sim racing cheap skate channel. It will be the cheapest Sim Racing channel, the, it will be the Sim Racing channel that has the least amount of money spent on a simulation rig. As you can see, I spent zero dollars on a TV, a, a PlayStation, and and two controllers. But I have paid twenty bucks for the country as well. So if you say, "Oh, that's cheating," I, I just gotta say one thing to you. Guess what? Still, I looked on eBay. And you can buy a PlayStation for 60 bucks. You can buy this TV for probably like 120 bucks right now. We're gonna really send it in there, maybe give it too much, too aggressive, maybe give it a little bit of a tap. And he's all over my back bumper. So if you do see the chain change, um, obviously it'll be probably something like Sim Racing Cheapskate or something like that, or the Sim Racing Cheapskate. But, Oh, and the impressive design. We're going to cut back under and try to hold it. Oh, man. That was very close. I feel like someone's right there. Yep, he's right there. He's going to rub up against us. We are barely behind him. We're going to give him no room because he didn't give us any room. And we're going to retake the lead. But let's see if we can hold on to it for four more laps. getting kind of quiet because for one I'm not used to talking or playing <laughs> obviously and okay we have a bit of a lead let's see how let's go whoa all right or okay, we really should have shifted a bit later but it's okay let's go make mistakes make you stronger So that's the guy. The guy that probably ate the bat is probably super strong right now. Now, hopefully we don't bin it or ruin the race. Really sliding around, but then again, the Celica rally, the Celica is a rally car. So, all right. Remember, the Impreza has more power on the straights. 
more speed on this chase than us, so that he will probably catch up to this. Watch out for the outside corner, and hard on the brakes. The AI in this game, I do have to say, according, and while I look at GT6's and GT Sports AI, I gotta say, this AI is much better. They're much more aggressive, they're much, and, for the PS2, I gotta say, although they barely, they almost sleep drive the whole time, I do have to say, they do try to pass you, and that is pretty impressive for a game that came out in 2004. What's also impressive about this game is that it's a pit stop. Pit stop animations, which I gotta say, some games nowadays don't even have that. Alright, well, it looks like we're good on fuel and we're good on tires for the rest of the race. We get a almost close the wall there and we're whoa, well, out of control. <sighs> we're gonna really, really slow down. As you can see, sometimes We have definitely left a bit of room between us in a second. I'm going to check my somewhere here yet. Yeah, two second lead. However, we we can have we can have issues. I mean, our tires, although they are looking good, I can't tell if they're green or yellow because sadly I am partially colorblind. Now, if they look green to me, I, I might be wrong. But, whatever. Alright. Whoa. Whoa. Oh boy. You can lose a lot of time through this set of corners. And as I've shown right there, and look where he is. He's right there now. Alright, two jobs to go. And although we do have a bit of a lead, we can mess this up. So, and if you've seen my replays, or you've seen me play, aka you are one of my family members. You know that I'm good at messing up. Funny story, actually. I was doing the um, Grand Valley Ridge Speed, um, Grand Valley, I don't know what it's called, the 300 kilometer race in this game. And I met, I was doing great. I mean, although I was, because we were about two hours into the race, and it was, well, I calculated it to be about four hours, including pit stops, because I was using the JTGC Super, this famous one. And I missed the year again. Ah. And now he's right on my bumper. But, so anyways, what I was saying was I was doing great. I was in second place, but I was being pressured a lot by two guys. I believe it was a Nissan JTGC car and a um, another JTGC car. We were slept way wide there. As I said before, surprisingly, we did not lose the lead, but we really messed up our tires there. So, I won't be surprised if we can't hold on to it. He is right there now. So, what I was saying was about the GTCC. I was going lap like 30 something. I was about halfway through the race. And, and there's this A4 touring car that has left us. I mean, but he's left us. He's about like 30 seconds ahead of us. However, he's gonna have to take one extra pit stop due to he has to the scheduled pit stops being um like two laps too short. So he's gonna have to take a, an extra pit stop. So I was just waiting for that to happen and hopefully I didn't waste four hours like I did at one time where I made a stupid decision to stay out. I, that's a story for another day. However, I do have to say these for AI, they are really good at pressuring you, and I'm on like lap 32, and I'm, they're still there. And as I said, here we go, right past him. Alright, so can I, we're gonna, we're gonna really send it into the turn room. He barely gives us any room, but he does have the power off the corner. But we, and he seems to have lost it, and he's gonna squeeze us. He's gonna squeeze us into the wall. And he's gonna start to leave us. However, this is my barely gets past us there. However, they the AI in this game 
are really good. Ever, they are not good at taking risks. I am good at, although 90% of my risks don't work out. Now we're gonna really. Oh my goodness. Okay. So what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the JTGC race. Okay. What was I doing? I was doing good. I was doing good. I was in second place, but I've been pressured by these two guys. And finally, after like three races, three not three races, like three, 30 laps, I come in, I'm going into turn one, flying. You guys are right behind me, and I wreck. And of course they do, because I am no, I am known as Mr. Choke. I choke all these things. I mess up. And I can't do, I really get in, and he's right on my bumper, oh my goodness, we're going to really defend that inside, he is right there, okay, oh he's on my outside, you gotta, okay, close this, close this, oh, we're, oh, 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 he hits us, he hits us in the back, we're going to squeeze him, we're going to squeeze him, oh, it's gonna be close, it's gonna be close. Come on, go, go, go. Oh, it's, he's turning us, he's turning us. Oh, oh, I think we got it, we got it, we got it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What a race. It was a very dirty race. However, we won. I just gotta say, good good battle in present, good battle. However, Celica is, as always, the greatest card of all time. As I was saying, thank you for watching. I will see you next time.